Hello and welcome to screencast on theories of learning. Okay, so if we just kind of go through what we've looked at previously with regards to skill acquisition, we've the classification of skills, stages of learning, practice types, feedback, types of guidance, and we've just looked at transfer of skills. So today's screencast and our next lesson is going to focus on theories of learning. Now, if we look at the specification, for theories of learning, we've got three theories we need to be aware of. We need to be aware of operant conditioning, cognitive theory of learning, and finally, Bandura's theory of observational learning. That is what we're concentrating on today, um, or in today's screencast, in our lesson. So we're concentrating on um, observational learning theory to begin with. Now, first of all, before we go on to what's on the screen now, observational learning theory is a social learning theory and what we mean by this is basically as humans we watch others and we copy others okay so if you think of when we're children we're all aware of our elders and their actions their habits and their attitudes and those of you as being of high status to us or significant others for example parents or a coach in sports are much more likely to be copied than those who regard as relatively unimportant. So what observational learning theory proposes is that learning takes place as a result of imitation of significant others and the environment in which we're in, okay? So copying others. Now, when we talk about teaching skills, it is a demonstration process that is particularly important to us, okay? So if I just move this on now, we've got Bandura's model, 1977, we've got the key components. So as I've just said there, we've got demonstration, a coach showing how to perform a skill. That part is really important. Now, according to um, Bandura's 1977 model, or observational learning theory, copying and modeling can affect our performance through four processes, and these are the four processes, okay? So the coach is the person being observed observed or it is the model okay and us as learners we are watching the coach do a demonstration and then key components of this are the four things that come out of this in terms of how we are going to learn or how it's going to affect our learning so first of all we've got the first one which is attention okay so the observer must focus on key points of the demonstration for example in sport a side foot when passing in football then we have this thing called retention, okay, so memorising key points via mental rehearsal or repetition, for example, repeating a pass in football. The observer also have to be able to reproduce the motor movements. We've got motor reproduction, so being physically and mentally able to match the demonstration. For example, a toddler may struggle to pass with correct technique. Then finally, the observer to learn from the example, from the demonstration, has to be motivated and have to have the motivation, the drive to match the demonstration as much as possible. So a coach using positive reinforcement will increase the drive to match the demonstration that has been produced. So I need to make sure this screencast, you have got those four points down or four processes down with regards to Bandora's model, specifically focusing on the key point is starts with a demonstration okay so a coach shows how to perform a skill then we've got four processes that need to take place that will affect you, effectively affect our performance so it will copying and modeling can affect our performance okay so they're the points we need to get down please make sure you've got questions on them for example what a refers to the observer focusing on key points of demonstration attention what r refers to memorizing key points via mental rehearsal attention and so forth Within the lesson, we are going to go through um, other key points with regards to observational learning theory. But for now, I just want you to get those points down with key questions for each one. Okay, thank you for listening and I'll see you in lesson.